ASU kicked off the annual Vera House White Ribbon Campaign. Citrus TV news reporter Jenna Babiak was at the men's basketball game at the Carrier Dome and has more on the event. It's not a woman's issue, it's a men's issue. And if we really want this to stop, we have to get involved and be comfortable being uncomfortable and, and develop the strength to self-reflect so that we can check our pride, our egos, and challenge social norms and thinking. The White Ribbon Campaign began in Canada in 1991 as a response to a massacre of 14 female students by a man. This shocking tragedy prompted a group of concerned men to launch an awareness campaign on the issue of violence against women. It's really just about spreading the word and breaking the silence about the whole um, kind of like the stigma surrounding it, that it's okay to come out and tell people that you are experiencing domestic violence or sexual abuse. Syracuse University students, staff, faculty, and community members were able to learn more about the White Ribbon Campaign this weekend. The Vera House organized the local campaign, which runs throughout the month of March. Student volunteers were at each entrance, collecting donations and handing out wristbands. Vera House representatives were on the back court hosting information tables. The Vera House has been working to end domestic violence in Onondaga County for almost 40 years. This year, they're hoping to reach their fundraising goal of $125,000. Money raised from the campaign supports Vera House education and awareness programs. We're thrilled to be here at the Dome today. Um, we're reaching a lot of people that we typically wouldn't be able to reach. A, a lot of different members of the community that may not know what we're doing at Vera House. So um, creating more awareness around these issues is great. The Vera House encourages everyone to build awareness and excitement for the White Ribbon Campaign. Participants can do so by promoting the campaign through social media and encouraging everyone to wear their white ribbon. Jenna Babiak, Citrus TV News.